Hey guys, so this week in LEGO Styles, we got quite a bit of some interesting news. We of course got our first 2022 rumours, uh, we got a new trailer for an upcoming LEGO Styles special, and some other things, so we're going to get into all of that today. Uh, but first we're going to start off with, of course, the biggest news of the week, uh, the 2022 rumours. So we of course have two rumoured sets, and the first one is set 75321, the Razor Crest Fighter. It'll be a part of Series 9. Uh, it'll include 98 pieces and will retail for $9.99 USD and the figure included is Best Garmando so that's pretty cool, I'm excited for this one uh, definitely a nice cheap way to get that figure if you haven't already uh, he does appear in a lot of sets though uh, but overall still pretty cool uh, so I'm definitely happy this is a set and I predicted it so that's great set of course confirms battle packs are returning this is set 75320 the Hoth Imperial Troopers Battle Pack I love 105 pieces for $20, which is a pretty sad price, but maybe it'll be worth it. We'll see when the set comes out. Uh, it'll include four figures, being three Snow Troopers and a Hoth Scout Trooper. Pretty cool selection. Uh, the build will be a speeder bike, an Ewe Blast Cannon, a Snow Wall, and some minifigure stands, uh, which will go with the UCS 8080. So pretty cool there. Uh, definitely interesting. Lots of builds for a battle pack so that might be why it's $20 but that piece count is pretty low so that, yeah I'm really interested in this uh, it's also of course uh, it's not going to be including stud shooters so that's great uh, overall sounds like a pretty cool set um, and yeah we should be getting some more rumors very soon week we also got our first trailer for Lego Star Wars Terrifying Tales this will be releasing on October 1st to Disney Plus uh, and yeah it's in the same uh, style as the holiday special, so I presume about 40-50 minutes long, which is pretty cool. Uh, it brings back Grabala from the Freemaker Adventures, I've been watching that recently, it's pretty good. Uh, so I'm very happy this is coming. Uh, looks pretty cool, there are also some figures that we don't actually have in real life that are just really cool to see. We have Vinay, who's um, Darth Vader's kind of right hand man in Rogue One. Uh, we also have a Mother Talzin who appears, which is pretty cool, as well as Ren uh, from the Rise of Kylo Ren comic book, which is very cool to see. Uh, and there is also the new character, which will be introduced in this show, or this uh, special, uh, by the name of Dean, uh, whose torso looks uh, familiar, kind of like Omega's. Uh, which is pretty interesting. Almost as if we could be getting our first look here at somewhat of an Omega torso for 2022. Obviously some stuff are different like the uh, kind of, I uh, you know, bandolier has been flipped as well as the belt is slightly different but that same v-neck is there. Uh, there are also some added things to this torso but overall it's very interesting how similar they look and I wouldn't be surprised if they got the Omega torso as maybe they're like similar kinds of characters. It's also a very similar hair to Omega. So very interesting stuff. Uh, so hopefully this is kind of a bigger hint towards us getting an Omega in a Bad Batch set uh, next year in 2022. But overall, this looks pretty good and almost dark at times, which is great to see. Uh, like the Kylo Ren there uh, looks cool. Uh, he has a different colored lightsaber, but whatever. Uh, overall, this does look pretty great and I can't wait to see it when it releases on Disney Plus. Uh, so you can check out the full trailer, of course, uh, with sound uh, on the styles.com YouTube channel. Uh, another interesting thing that we got uh, this week was the designer video for the UCS gunship, and you can't watch it anymore because it's been removed. Why was it removed? Because, well, everyone didn't like it and it got so many dislikes. And why did it get so many dislikes? Public Gunship is a set from the original trilogy. We created two updated designs for these minifigures. One is a clone commander, which also doubles as the pilot. Yep, Lego removed it. Uh, also, YouTube of the Brick Wars sent something out to LAN, which Lego saw, so I guess that's probably why. Uh, basically, just saying that the, well the model's good, the marketing strategy was really bad and giving them some constructive criticism which is great. Uh, so yeah overall the Republic Gunship is a pretty good set with some pretty bad marketing and I think we can all put it behind us uh, and look forward into the future with great hope for what's to come. Speaking of which, next week in LEGO Star Wars I am expecting us to get the full rumor list uh, so that'll be great. Obviously it'll be coming within the next few weeks, by the end of the month we will have rumours and yeah, based on what happened last year I think it will be uh, this coming week so get excited. Of course if it's not 
next week uh, than it will be the week after that. Uh, but basically, it's going to be great, unless it's going to be terrible, I don't know, of course I don't know, um, but you know, uh, I don't care, it's, it's, it's great to hear these rumours anyway. So, let me know what you think down below, uh, do you have any video ideas for me once the 2020 rumours come out, 2022 rumours, uh, but yeah, that'll be all today, I hope you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe, that'll be all folks, goodbye.